So the term high quality gets used a lot in the world of Persian rugs and especially by rug dealers. But what actually makes a Persian rug high quality? Well, I'm Sean with Catalina Rug and in this video, I'm going to go over some of the key features that you can look for to determine whether a Persian rug is high quality or not. In my opinion, this is pretty subjective, but also there are certain features such as the material, the patterns, and the colors of the rug that will help you understand if it's high quality or not. So if you want to learn more about how to determine if a Persian rug is high quality, then stick around and we're going to go over that together now. Alright, so first let's go over the pattern of the rug and talk about some of the key features that we need to pay attention to when we're looking for a rug that's high quality. So the first thing is that, and the most important thing is that the pattern of the rug and the design of the rug is proportional to the size of the rug. So let me give you some examples. So in the case of uh, certain rugs, if the pattern of the rug is taken from a larger Persian rug design, for example, then it's used on a smaller rug, then you're going to end up with a pattern that is not proportional to the size of the rug. And uh, you'll see things like big branches and large floral design or larger geometrical design in a smaller rug. So this design is going to feel very cramped and there's not going to be enough like space around the, the patterns and it's just not going to look correct in this smaller type of rug. So this is something you got to first pay attention to when you're looking at a pattern of uh, a Persian rug is to make sure that the size of everything is proportional and that they're not taking a design or something from a larger rug and using a smaller one. And that way there's going to be more harmony in the pattern and it's just going to look more beautiful that way. So another aspect that we need to pay attention to when it comes to the pattern and design of a high quality rug is to check that the rug looks symmetrical. So the majority of Persian rugs, their designs are made to be symmetrical. And so this is something that we got to pay attention to. And especially true when you're looking at a Persian rug that has a medallion in it. Uh, you have to pay attention that the medallion is actually located in the center of the rug. And this could be done visually, or you could even take a measure tape to measure from the center of the medallion all the way to the edge of each side of the rug to make sure that is in the center. And also paying attention to any of the other major design features that are in the rug. For example, if it has like a four corner pattern, even if it has an all over design, to so just make sure that is symmetrical as possible. Of course, uh, Persian rugs are hand knotted. They're made by humans. They're not going to be perfect like a machine made rug, but they should be as perfect as humanly possible. So pay attention to the symmetry of the rug. Make sure that the major design features like the medallion, anything uh, large around the medallion or the four corner pieces, everything looks like is uh, located correctly and is symmetrical. So the third point I want to cover when it comes to the pattern of a high quality rug is uh, the pattern and the knot density of the rug and does the knot density of the rug support the pattern and the sophistication and complexity of the pattern so a lot of times people like to look at knot density alone and of course uh, if you keep everything the same a rug that has a higher knot density usually is of higher quality however the most important thing here is that the the pattern and the knot density are working together so if you have a rug for example that has really fine intricate details um, in in the pattern and it has a low knot density then everything is going to look kind of um, like almost pixelated and low resolution because of the lower knot density that's not able to support this more intricate and detailed patterns and so this is something you got to pay attention to is that the knot density of the rug is it, proportional to the intricacies of the pattern and the same thing goes if you're dealing with a rug that has let's say a large geometrical pattern and it doesn't really require the higher knot density it's fine if it has a higher knot density but doesn't necessarily need it so that's not a very important um, aspect to pay attention to the main thing here to pay attention to is that if the rug has a lot of uh, details that the knot density is high enough to support those details so that way the design looks nice and clear and sharp 
Uh, so this is another aspect to pay attention to when you want to choose a high quality Persian rug. So another aspect that makes a high quality Persian rug that I think is very subjective is pay attention to the variety of motives in the design and in the pattern of the rug. So for example, some Persian rugs have a combination of floral design and they have a combination of animals and different types of motives all within their, their design. And this is all blended together really well and it looks very harmonious. So these are typically high quality rugs that are able to integrate all these different varieties of motives into their pattern. Uh, so that's something that you could look for. But again, this is very subjective. Some people prefer not to have any sort of animals in the motives. They prefer just geometrical design, for example, or just floral design. But the use of uh, a variety of motives it usually indicates high quality because of the complexity of being able to weave in all these different um, designs into the rug. Also, another thing to pay attention to is the use of empty space and the proper use of empty space in the design of the rug, which really, again, brings uh, harmony to the rug and brings a lot of balance into the design of the rug. All right, so next, let's talk about the colors when it comes to high quality Persian rugs. And one of the first things that we want to look for is that there's consistency in the colors. So for example, if the rug has, let's say, a red background or a blue background, that the red is the same red throughout the rug or that the blue is the same blue and there's no sort of fading going on around the rug. And something to look out for though and to just uh, be mindful of is that uh, when it comes to older Persian rugs, there is this thing called abrash effect, which happens to uh, the wool and the dye over time. The colors start changing because of the way that the wool, um, the, the fat the wool has, the amount of fat that it has and how it was dyed. Over time, there, there's going to be some changes in the colors. So when you're looking at an older Persian rug, especially do consider that there is going to be an abrash effect. But overall, you're looking for the colors to be pretty much consistent and not any sort of fading going on around the rug. So another thing to pay attention to when it comes to the colors of the rug is what type of dyes were used uh, to dye the wool. And usually the best type of dye are the natural dye colors that are made from plants and uh, seeds and uh, flowers and different natural elements. Those types of natural dyes tend to have the most uh, beautiful and uh, rich and vibrant sort of colors. But of course, this is pretty hard to tell for an untrained eye. But if you can ask uh, the dealer that you're buying the rug from what kind of dyes were used to make the rug, that's good information to know. And usually, if you're looking at a rug that has really nice, beautiful, and harmonious colors that are rich and vibrant. They typically are made with natural dye colors. So something else about colors in a high quality Persian rug is that they need to be a nice combination of colors that work really well together and also that they're harmonious and balanced. And I'll give you an example of this. So for example, if you're looking at a rug that has um, a couple of strong colors, let's say for, for example, a strong blue and a strong green, then when the rug is designed harmoniously and the colors are used correctly, what happens is that you, there's usually a transition color whenever these two colors are used. So you're not gonna see a very strong uh, blue color and a very strong green color directly next to each other. There's gonna be some sort of transition color in between. So that's something you could look for is that typically that's something that is noticeable is that there's going to be a clash of colors if there's uh, some strong colors being used in the rug. But what we're looking for is a nice combination of colors and harmony between the colors. Also something else to look out for when it com comes to the combination of color is that there's no one color that just dominates the rug and doesn't match well with the pattern and uh, the, the other colors that are being used in the rug. So if you're looking at a rug and they're just like this one color that really sticks out and doesn't look like it belongs there, then that's usually an indication that it's not gonna be the highest quality rug or just it's not gonna be a beautiful rug. So those are some of the things you could pay attention to when it comes to the combination of colors and harmony within the color. So something else about the colors, which again, I think this is subjective, but Typically, when it comes to uh, Persian rugs that are using more colors, uh, m more variety of colors, this also indicates higher quality because 
What this means is that as the weaver is working on the rug, as they're uh, weaving the designs, they're gonna have to switch more often between the different wool or let's say the different silk that they're using to create the pile. So this is definitely more complex and more time consuming and uh, it, it requires uh, more effort on the weaver's part and also for the designer to design a rug. And so generally speaking, if everything else is kept the same, if you have two rugs, but one of them is using more colors inside of it, then typically that indicates it's a higher quality rug and it's gonna be just more expensive. So if you're enjoying this video and you feel like you're learning something from this content, then I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel and definitely turn on your notification bell because we put out videos just like this every week and we cover the topics of hand knotted rugs and Persian rugs and oriental rugs and trying to teach you everything that you need to know, everything from how to choose a rug to rug care. And so if you wanna learn more about these things, then definitely subscribe. And next, let's go over uh, what to look out, look out for when it comes to the straightness of uh, Persian rugs and how to determine the straightness of the rug and how this is an important key feature when it comes to high quality Persian rugs. All right, so now let's talk about straightness of Persian rugs and some of the things that you need to look out for when it comes to checking the rug for straightness. So I've talked about this in a lot of different videos, but the main thing here is that to recognize that Persian rugs are of course hand knotted, they're made by humans, so the rug could only be as straight as humanly possible uh, because they're not made by machines. Uh, however, you need to check the rug for straightness because some rugs uh, tend to be pretty crooked and especially this is true for rugs that are from uh, tribal areas or villages because those areas um, are known to use wooden looms which can over time uh, the loom and the wood that it's made of is going to contract and expand over time and this could end up having a, making a crooked loom and that therefore is going to create a crooked rug. Also something else is that in those types of uh, tribal rugs and village rugs, you're gonna uh, sometimes encounter rugs that have a wool foundation, which adds a lot of character to the rug. However, uh, wool does tend to shrink and uh, contract and expand more than a cotton foundation, which is much more stable. And so you could end up with a crooked rug that way. So the main thing here is that when you're looking at the rug is to lay it on the ground, visually check it for straightness, look at the four edges of the rug. And uh, especially if you have a chance to lay the rug on a hardwood floor or like a tile floor that has contours on the floor, you could take a look at the contours and compare the edges of the rug and make sure that it's relatively straight. And then if you don't have that option, you could always take out a measure tape and measure the bottom, the center, and the top of the rug and compare those measurements to make sure that they're not too off. So that's definitely something to look out for. High quality Persian rugs usually are straight. Um, you don't want to, uh, you know, if everything else is perfect, but the rug is not straight, it's not gonna be as beautiful. It's not gonna be as high quality. All right, so now let's talk about the material that's used in high quality Persian rugs and what are some things that you need to look out for when it comes to the materials. So the first thing is that, of course, uh, Persian rugs, a lot of time the pile is made of uh, wool and sometimes it's made of silken wool and sometimes it's made with 100% silk. There are other type of materials that could be used in the pile, but we're not going to really cover that because the majority of Persian rugs are made with those three, uh, with those two um materials. So the first thing is that when it comes to uh, wool, there it depends on a couple of things. First of all is where does the wool come from? Where is the original source of the wool? And some of the uh, famous places that are known to have high quality wool are like New Zealand wool, which comes, which comes from New Zealand. And there is also uh, Manchester wool that comes from Manchester and there's Ghazne wool. Those three types of wool are pretty famous for being really high quality. So that's something that you can ask about uh, when you are purchasing the rug. You can ask from the rug dealer if they know where the wool comes from that was made, that was used to make the rug. And then something else is uh, what part of the sheep the wool comes from. So if you're able to find out if the rug is made from, let's say, cork wool, then this is uh, made from, this comes from the neck of the sheep, which is like finer uh, quality wool. So that's also something that impacts the quality of the wool. And then finally, something else that impacts it is when was the wool sheared from the sheep? So typically how it works is that 
during the uh, springtime when the sheep is sheared, especially during the first or second shear in the beginning of springtime, that usually produces the highest quality wool that has the most amount of fat and is just the best wool. And so those are some of the things that affects the quality of the wool. And then when it comes to the silk, the main thing is that it, if it's real silk, you, you don't want to uh, typically like high quality Persian rugs are made with real silk, not fake silk. So that's something that you could look into uh, to determine if it's a real silk and therefore it's going to be higher quality. Now, if you want to learn more about the different types of materials that are used in Persian rugs, we've made a video covering this topic at depth. So definitely check out that video and we'll put the link in the description and we'll try to show it in the uh, card in this video as well. All right, so something else that impacts the quality of a Persian rug and would make it a high quality or low, lower quality rug is something that's not obvious to most people, which is uh, how the rug was cleaned, how well it was professionally cleaned. So the way that it works in the world of Persian rugs is that once the rug is purchased and is sourced, whether it's sourced from, uh, wh whether it's a new rug or whether it's a used rug, they're all, all the rugs are going to uh, be put together and sent off to professional rug cleaning. And this really impacts how the rug is going to look like. And if they do a really good job at the professional rug cleaning, it's going to make the rug look better. And basically what it will look like is that the design is going to look more clear and everything is just going to look sharper and more harmonious and better. Now, if the rug cleaning is not done well, if uh, they're not good at what they do, it's gonna end up making the design of the rug look almost hazy and unclear. So this is something that I think a lot of people that are uh, newer, especially in the world of Persian rugs, are not gonna really know about, but every rug that you purchase that's coming uh, from a, a rug dealer before it's, uh, before that it goes on sale before it goes to their warehouse or showroom it's going to go through professional rug cleaning almost majority of the time and who they're choosing for their professional rug cleaners and the quality of professional rug cleaning is going to have a really big impact of the end results and how the rug is going to look whether it's new or old now the last thing i want to discuss when it comes to the quality of persian rugs it has to do more with traditional or persian rugs that are made in cities which is that rugs that are made in workshops tends to be higher quality than of non-workshop rugs. Now, this is not true for every rug, but in most of the cases, workshop rugs tend to have uh, higher quality. And there's a few reasons for this. So first of all, there's going to be a higher standard uh, when it comes to how they design the rug, how they weave the rug, and there's going to be more stricter uh, quality standards. And there's going to be usually a master weaver that's overseeing all the weavers in the workshop to making sure that they're doing a good job and they're keeping these uh, standards high. And also another thing is that because the workshop has more money and is able to buy uh, material in bulk, they're able to buy, let's say, a large order of wool and also able to color the wool all at the same time. And what this results in is higher quality when it comes to the material and the colors in the rug. And so generally speaking, those types of workshop rugs are going to be better. Now, uh, something to look out for is that not every workshop rug is going to have a signature on it. Uh, I know a lot of people are looking for the signature, but some rugs that are made in workshops don't come with a signature. Uh, so uh, you can ask the rug dealer that you're purchasing from and hopefully they're honest about it and if the rug is made at workshop or not. Uh, definitely on our site, CatalinaRug.com, on all of our product pages, there's a, there's a section that shows whether or not the rug comes from a workshop and which workshop it comes from. All right, so this concludes our video on the key features of high quality Persian rugs. I hope that you learned something new from this video and that the next time you're looking at a Persian rug, so you kind of have better ideas of what to look out for and how to determine if it's high quality or not. And if you're looking to learn more about the, how to check the condition of a Persian rug and inspect it for condition, we also made a video about that, which I think will be very uh, helpful for you because not only you want to make sure that the rug is high quality and it looks good, but also you want to inspect the condition to make sure that it's in really good condition so that way it lasts for a long time. So definitely check out that video. Also, we have a great playlist. It's called uh, Types of Persian Rugs 101 where you can learn about all the different types of Persian rugs. I think that's a very informative playlist. And if you are enjoying these videos, then again, I invite you to like and subscribe 
and uh, make a comment below and I will see you in the next video.